Actually, um, parang love the pictures na sinasabi niya na sila kayo rin. <laughs> the thing about origami flowers is that it's very unique. Um, for Valentine's, I think it's already a staple ingredient, like flowers, chocolates. And of course, after a week, the flower wilts, it dies, and then you just throw it away and you just make do with the photos that you have of it. Um, the thing about origami flowers is that it never wilts. So once you give it to the person, like, you can keep it forever. bago mga Pilipino kung nasasanay lang sila sa pinapakita. <laughs> wow. Wow. Parang... Pero mayroon talaga siya na yung nakita. Boy, kasi yung Pilipino talaga yun. Oo. Oh. Ano pa? Totoo. Actually, these, um, these bouquets uh, are really cheap. So for example, this half dozen bouquet costs 450 pesos only. Uh, if you buy like, a half dozen bouquet um, of natural flowers, it usually costs around 1625. Um, the prices are crazy. So I think that's also one advantage of this is that it's very, it's very cheap. And then, of course, for a cheap price, you can keep it forever. when I do the origami roses it still amazes me how these things can come out of just one piece of paper or how like one piece of paper you can turn into anything like any flower any animal or like anything it's really an, an art form so I think that's what separates origami flowers or origami um, as a as a process uh, as opposed to like for example plastic flowers that you just manufacture or put together Hola, Dutika. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nakita ako well made talaga siya tapos parang complicated talaga yung ano niya, craftsmanship niya. 